Hey guys, Cam here, and few Android manufacturers load their software with as many features and options as Huawei. It is awesome, but at times can be a little confusing. So we've been playing with the Mate 20 Pro over the last couple of months, and here are a few interesting tips and features you should definitely try. As always, apologies in advance if I go a bit too quickly. Be sure to make use of that pause button if you need to. Now number one is using your phone to charge another phone wirelessly. Now among the many awesome features of the Mate 20 Pro is the ability to use the wireless charging hardware to not only receive charge, but also to charge other devices. To activate it, head to settings and then battery, and now toggle on the wireless reverse charging option. Now turn the phone upside down, put your other wireless charging compatible device on top, and it will charge it. Now a word of caution, if you're not using a case, your phone will probably slip off. Number two is activating a dark theme. Now if you're not a fan of the default white look, either because you don't like how it looks or because it's too heavy on the battery, head into settings and then battery, and now toggle the darken interface colors toggle. Now the theme will be mostly black, which means less light and less power is being consumed. Next up is requiring eye contact during facial recognition. Now this is an important one for those who care about security. After enrolling your face in the facial recognition setup process, it doesn't require your eyes to be open by default. But to make sure that it does, head to settings, security, face recognition, and then once you've confirmed your PIN, ensure that the toggle for require eye contact is on. Number four is using your facial recognition to unlock apps. As part of its security options, you can lock apps behind a password, a PIN or a fingerprint scan or a facial scan. Now to enable the facial scan, toggle the access app lock option under the facial recognition settings. And then go back one step to the security and privacy settings and go to app lock. Here you'll be asked to create a four digit PIN, then answer basic security questions before getting to a list of apps. And now you can toggle whichever apps you want to put behind an extra layer of security to stop any unwanted eyes from wandering into them. Number five is limiting screen time. Now in the main settings app, you'll see a digital balance option. This is essentially Huawei's version of digital well-being or Apple's screen time feature. Toggle screen time management on and now you can limit how much total screen time you want to allow yourself on any particular day. And even set schedules for work days and rest days. Next up on a similar vein is limiting individual apps. Now take the previous tip further, you can tap on app limits and now you can set individual app time limits. So if you spend too much time on Twitter or Facebook, you can set limits on those. Just select the app you want to set a limit for and then toggle on the limit use option. And now set a limit of your choosing. Number seven and briefly is bedtime. In the same digital balance options, there's a bedtime mode. If you switch it on, you can ensure that you don't stay up playing on your phone too late. When it's activated, you can toggle to have your screen go completely grayscale so that there's no color at all, as well as ensuring you don't get any disturbances from notifications. Number eight is getting notifications to wake up your screen. If you want your phone screen to light up whenever you receive a notification, you can enable that function by heading to settings, notifications, more notification settings, and then switching on the toggle next to the notification turn on screen option. Number nine is hiding the notch. Now go to settings and display and then select more display settings. In this menu, you should see an option that says notch. Tap it and then choose the hide notch option. This then puts a dark strip at the top of the screen that's the same thickness as the notch, making it seem like it's not there. Next up is the always on display, which like Samsung phones, if you want to, can have the screen show the time and date constantly, even when the screen is off. Just head to settings, home screen and wallpaper, and then tap always on display. You can switch it on permanently or have it scheduled for a certain time, ensuring it doesn't come on at night. Number 11 is using gesture navigation. Now as standard, you get three navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen. To switch Huawei's gesture mode on, head to settings, system, system navigation, and choose the top gestures option. With this activated, you swipe inwards from the left or right edges to go back, swipe up quickly from the middle to go home, or swipe up and hold to go to recent apps. Now if you want to, you can also enable the Google Assistant option. And here you can swipe upwards from the left or right, 
and that launches the Google Assistant. Next up is scheduling eye comfort. It essentially filters out excessive blue light from the display, theoretically making it more comfortable to look at. To schedule it to come on in the evening, head to settings, display, color in eye comfort, and toggle the scheduled option before choosing the time you want it to begin and end. Lastly, create a separate private space. Now with the Mate 20 Pro, as with other recent Huawei products, you can create a second space, complete with different app organization, accounts, and so forth. And once set up, you can launch it automatically just by using a different finger to the one that you'd normally use on the fingerprint sensor. Go to settings, security and privacy, and scroll down to private space. When you hit enable, you set a special pin for that space, and now it'll ask you to associate a fingerprint. Hit associate and now you'll be able to enroll a fingerprint just like when you set it up the first time, except this time you're using a different finger. Now when you unlock the phone with that particular finger, it'll go to a separate space to your main space. And we hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or can't figure something out, be sure to sound off in the comments. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, so go follow me there. And be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye for now.